Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Salma and um, uh, I am back with another interesting video. Yes, and today is kind of a um, teaching and also it's a teaching from my own experience, right? So today we are going to talk about meditation, yeah, the, my meditating journey. So now I'm going to make it like how it, it, it started. Yes, I'm going to like how it really started with me, um, my meditating journey life. Yes, I know it's, uh, it has not been um, a long journey, but it's going to help you because I believe there are many, and this was also me, there are lots of believers out there. They go to church every day. You go with your notebook. Yes. They'll go with their notebook every day A church. They'll attend church every day, but they don't read the word of God. Yes. When they hear the word of God is when maybe they are listening to a sermon or when they go to church. But just to open their Bible, to open their Bible and just read it, meditate on the world, understand the word, and just grow spiritually. They don't do that. And I was one of them, but by the grace of God, I'm no more like that. Okay. So meditating is just to meditate on the word of God, to read the word of God in order for you to gain knowledge, in order for you to gain understanding, in order for you to gain encounters, for the Lord to open mysteries in your life about his kingdom, about him. See, there is no a person in this lifetime that has learned God. Like they will say, I graduated with a PhD. There's nothing again about God. You will never know God. You will know God in this generation, right? But you will not know him that I am, I am done. I have, I have studied everything about God. Mm -mm. It will never. We learn each and every day. Each and every day, you see, you will read a verse today and you, you, you gain this knowledge or you'll be open to understand something. But that doesn't mean that when you come back the next time, it will be the same. Never. Like the other day I was uh, listening to the sermon of Mr. Prophet David Uche and the Psalm 23, he made it just about marriage, how a successful marriage, yeah, they say temporary to a successful marriage, and it was just through Psalm 23, you see? That's how the word of law, uh, the, 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 the word of God will just open mystery day by day as you keep on learning. So first of all, I want to start like this, see, as a believer, the Bible said in Hosea 4, 6, yes, that uh, Hosea 4, 6, that my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Yes, we are perishing. People are perishing. The people of God, see, the people of the kingdom of darkness, they know the, the, the knowledge about, about God. Yes, they know. They studied. They gave themselves to the devil to teach them however they do it. And they have gained knowledge. But as believers, we are being destroyed because of the lack of knowledge. See, knowledge is power. So the Bible is continuing saying, because you have rejected knowledge, I, am, I also will reject you from being priest for me. The Lord will not allow you to become his priest or to use you because if you did not give yourself to his knowledge. You did not give yourself to his words, to his words. He will not allow you that. See, there's, there's, uh, listen, there's maybe someone of you or you have heard someone that they have, maybe they got a prophecy that you are going to be a pastor or you are going, the Lord is going to use you, you see. But this person is just sleeping, waiting. They are going to church. They are just waiting for the prophet or the pastor to lay hands on them, but they never give themselves to the knowledge of God or to hear what is God is saying now. 
like god you said you are going uh, you you you, uh, you are going to use me they are just waiting but they are not giving themselves to the word of god allowing god to to step in see the bible said knock uh, no not knock yes knock just knock and the lord will open see the bible say seek me diligently and to find me how will you see god you will not see god by going to, yes the, you but for you yourself seek god diligently you will find him you will find god uh, oh god by reading his word by fasting by going in isolation and hear god what is god saying about your life yes so this was just a breaking but now i want you uh, i want now to make this story of, of how i started uh, reading the word of god um, i started going to church like being a believer now when i was um maybe for two years i'm just going to church I'll, every day i'll carry my bible i'll carry my notebook uh, the pastor will be be reading will be talking i'll be writing but just to open the Bible on my own and read, study the word, I will not do that. I will wait next, next, next Sunday, I will carry my bag, and then I will go. But just to, to sit and read the word, I will not do that. And that is mostly a believer who has been going to church for 10 years. Some of them are still like that. And that is why most believers, they are not growing. Do you understand that? That is most why most believers they are not growing see let me tell you we grow physically and also spiritually there's a life that you have to grow that's why you will see a, a, an 80 years old old person is calling a 30 years old papa or mama why it is because of how these people, of how this person of 30 years, given themselves to the word of God, to the things of God, and they have grown spiritually more than the person who is older, 80 years old. That is the reason why. So you can be 50 years old, but spiritually you are still three years old. You are still like a baby. That's why the Bible in Paul says there are believers that are still drinking milk. Yes, you are still eating soft food, you see. But that's why sometimes you hear a pastor preaching and you'll be hurt. Why? You are still a baby. You get that? Yes. So now, if you are one of them or you just want really to understand on how you have to start on meditating the word of God, on reading the word of God, and to see how your life, how your spiritual life will grow. Just hear my story. As I said, I started just going to church maybe two years. I'll go to church, I'll carry my bag, my Bible, but just to see. So how, this is how I started. So that year, I started like, you know what, I'll be very, I think I even write it in the, in, 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 just in my prayer points of that year, that I want to start to read and understand the word of God on my own. So this is how I started. So I made every morning before I pray, I must read the word of God. And I was like, I must read a chapter. I can't remember now if it's a chapter or two chapter. And I remember I started, if not, I started in the New Testament and I started um, with Act. Yes, the book of Act. I don't know now if it's a book of Act I started with or the book of Colossians. So, as first when I started, it was just going on. It was just going on. Days are going, days are going. And whenever, I think whenever I'm going also to sleep, I'll do the same thing. So, I'll read two chapters a day. So, one when I'm waking up and one when I'm going to sleep. So, as time goes on, I remember I went that, that time I was homeless. I was just uh, staying in my in my one of my friends' house. So yes, it was just a it was just something going on in my life. So when I she has a TV, and then one day I went on uh, I went there to sit and watch the TV, and I I remember 
uh, I put on Emmanuel TV. When I, I put on Emmanuel TV, um, there was a sermon, a Sunday service, yes. So, and then TB Joshua came to a woman and then he asked the woman, what did you do today? And then the woman said, I prayed and then I traveled to church. And then he asked again, what did you do today? He said, I read the, I, 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 I prayed and I, I traveled to church. And then he said, now how did you hear from the Lord? How did you hear God speaking to you? Because God every time is speaking to us. How did you hear him? Then she said, she was just quiet. And then Prophet T.B. Joshua said, See, do not make time for, for you to talk to God. It's just you talking to God, talking to God, but you can't hear what God is saying. The moment you made time for you to pray, for you to talk to God, make time also for you to listen to what God is saying. The same, the same, the same moment, see, you will pray for five hours or three hours or 30 minutes, but you can't make time for, for the, to read your Bible, even for 20 minutes. Why? That's, then I was, I was already in that state and I was like fooled, like, oh my God, there will be never a day that, I will pray bef uh, without reading the word of God. I remember that day, it's like my anointing was pure, like, oh my God, I will, re I will be reading my Bible so much. And then what do I do? I read my Bible out loud. Yes, that's what I start, how I started it. Because I even um, search on how to meditate. You see, everything has to do, the, the Bible say, uh, iron sharpens iron, yes. So I remember I'll read out loud the word and then after I am done, I'm a teacher. I'll be like, ask myself, what did I learn today? So I'll go through and then I'll make sure that this chapter was really about love. So love one another as you love yourself. So, and so on and so on. And, and when, as my day goes on, if somebody did something bad to me, the word of the Lord will be in my heart. You see how the word will work. See, even when you are fighting the devil, you will know your position. You will know where you are seated. You will know what to say. You will know how to respond to the devil. The devil attacked you and you tell the devil, listen devil, uh, you have no power over me. The Bible says I am having the authority. I am given power to step or to trample on scorpion and serpent and to defeat the power of my enemy Satan. So how come you come and attack me? You see how you will respond? Or maybe you are going through uh, you are going through a, a difficult moment, but the Bible said, uh, uh, listen, do not worry of what to eat, of what to wear. No, instead, seek the kingdom of God and its righteousness. That is how you will respond to the situation with the word of the Lord. And this is the case that the, the Bible said, the word of the Lord is living and powerful, sharper than the double-edged sword. You see? So that is how I started doing it. So as time goes on, See, if the moment you knock, God will open. As time goes on, I started getting teachers, new teachers. So guys, uh, this is how I really started um, meditating the word of God. This is how I gave myself the Bible in Joshua. Here, here is my Bible says, never stop reading the book of life, the book of law. This is the Bible. He gave you, he gave you, day and night, you must think about what it says. Day and night, you must think of what it says. So now if you don't, if you don't read the word or you don't have that word inside of you, how will you think of day and night? You won't. So it continues, says, if you obey it completely, you and Israel will be able to take this land. You see, that is the word of God. And also it continues in, 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 in Deuteronomy 28. It has our, our blessings. That the, How would the Lord bless us if we, we obey his commandments? You see, 